Happy spring! Hey everyone, I'm Anna Coyne. Thank you for joining me today. I am so excited to paint. And since it's the month of May, I thought I would do a different flower each week this month. This week I'm going to do a fluid art kind of abstract rose based off of a painting I did previously. And I did this flower with a string technique where the string was dipped in paint and kind of spiraled around and I really liked how it turned out. So I thought I would try this again with different colors just on a white background. Yeah, I'm excited to see how it will turn out. I think it'll be striking and really pretty. So I'm going to do this video kind of a step-by-step -step style from beginning to end. So if you want to paint along with me, great, you're welcome to do that. And if you just want to sit back and relax and watch, just grab yourself a lemonade and let's get painting. First, we're going to prepare the canvas. I always tape the backs of the canvas so that the runoff paint doesn't make it look messy. This is frog tape, and I believe this was from Walmart. I've tried painter's tape before, but it does not work as well, as the paint seems to seep under the edges and the tape is harder to remove at the end. So in order to get a really clean, sharp line, I take a popsicle stick or a credit card and run it along the edge. Next, I'm going to use some push pins on each of the four corners in order to raise the canvas above my work surface. You can use painter's tripods for this as well. Okay, so our canvas is prepared it's been taped and the push pins are in and we just want to make sure that it's level before we start. Okay, looks good. So next we're going to lay down our white base. And I mixed up some white paint this morning and so I'm hoping by now the bubbles have calmed down a little bit and we won't have as many air bubbles in it. So I'm now going to take a, I think this is like a cake fondant frosting spreader and it works really well for spreading out your base layer. You can also just do this with a popsicle stick or Another kind of spatula. My paint is mixed with about one part paint, one part floral, and water to the desired consistency. Okay, so it's not perfectly smooth, but um, because the paint is so fluid, it should level out a little bit on its own. So next, I'm just taking 
this kitchen blowtorch and running it over the painting and this pops all the little air bubbles that's in the paint due to mixing the paint with the medium and water. So the first color I'm going to use is this sort of light rose gold tan, creamy tan, sandy color. I mixed some rose gold, some regular gold, some white. I just wanted to get kind of a creamy, shimmery, sandy color. So next I'm taking a string, which I've cut, oh, I don't know, it's probably a couple feet long. And I'm kind of nervous about this part. <laughs> so everything we've done so far is basically prepping our painting. So this is the fun part when you actually get to put some color in the canvas. Here's our second color. It's like a pretty magenta, shimmery lipstick color. Okay, let's pull this one off. I want it to mix with the rose gold tan paint, but I also want both paints to show, so I'm overlapping it partly. The third color we're going to use is just gorgeous. It's like a deep fuchsia or bright magenta type of color. And this I'm thinking will be in the inner part of the rose and we might stop after this one if it looks good.
All right, for the final touch, just gonna add a little bit of glitter here, because I love glitter. <laughs> And I'm sure this is already kind of a girly piece. So why not go all the way? Here's the close-up, and I'm taking it from a different angle than I painted it, because I think this angle looks the nicest. Yeah, I love the colors and how they look together. The piece has a lot of depth with the layering, and it's just pretty and feminine, and I could just look into it for a long time. I'm really happy with it. I had a lot of fun painting today and I hope you guys had fun painting or watching. If you enjoyed this video, it helps me out a lot if you would give it a thumbs up and also feel free to leave your comments um, if you have any requests for future videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thanks again and I will see you next time.